with you. Well, did you do it? Is our adventurous next step spelled out in lights? Oh, you see, Jay did some redecorating in the studio and added some string lights. I've been positioning them to spell out whatever our next step might be. So, did you? The problem is, every time Jay goes to turn them on, he has an epic fall. So I don't know if he should do it again. What do you think? Oh. Looks like they want you to. Not sure if that's a good thing. All right, this time I won't fall. Hold on. Okay, I moved all the cords and anything that could trip you up. Okay. Okay, heading back. Whoa, Jay, what could you have tripped on? Oh, my feet. That was my feet. I tripped on my feet. I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. What does share mean? Well, thinking about all our big ideas up until now, I think it means to share the story of Jesus with as many people as possible. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, remember our alien friend Jen? That didn't seem very alien-y at all. <laughs> yeah. She was an alien on like a whole other planet, and I got to share about Jesus with her and her planet. Maybe there are other planets we could travel to and tell them about Jesus, too. Um, yeah. I guess we'd need a spaceship for that. We would need a spaceship. You thinking what I'm thinking? Um, Jay, I'm not sure. Too late. Three, two, one, press play. Oh! oh. Yes. Countdown to takeoff in five minutes. Repeat. Countdown to takeoff in five minutes. Oh no, oh no, no, oh no, no, no. Oh, whoa, no. whoa, Emma, it's okay. Why are you totally freaking out? We've been on crazier adventures than this. We've been on other planets for goodness sake. It's just a spaceship. Yeah, but it's a spaceship with a dog for a pilot. Hmm, you're right. You know what? That is a new one. Oh. Okay, okay, relax. Good thing I speak dog. What? What if he doesn't bark? Please, Emma, don't be offensive. Dogs speak through more than just barks. <clears throat> Hello, sir. I'm Jay, and this is Emma. <clears throat> oh, right, right. Okay, wow, cool. Thanks. <laughs> What's he saying? All good news. I communicated with him. He understands that we're afraid, but he's piloted many missions. Don't fret, he says. Also... He's got the same mission as us, to spread the story of Jesus. He specifically wants to find planets where they only speak dog. Understandable. Oh, I'm actually comforted by this. I've lost it. I've really lost it. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Huh. Okay. Oh, really? Well, that would be great. What? He says the whole scenario makes him think of a Bible story from Acts chapter 8. He'd like to share it with us. And there's a button in the cockpit that translates dog, so I won't have to translate for him. It's right... Oh, would you mind pressing that button there? Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Thank oh. goodness Jay's understanding of my dialect was quite limiting. <laughs> but you did your best, mate. Cheerio. <laughs> Thank you. So glad to have you first and second mates on this voyage to share the story of Jesus. The story I want to share from Acts 8 is about a friend of Jesus who was named Philip. After Jesus died, rose from the dead, and went into heaven, Philip was wondering what on earth to do next. Thank goodness an angel came along and told him. The angel simply told him to travel south. That's it? No other directions? Emma, we're on a spaceship about to shoot off into space with no real destination, and a dog is a pilot, so... Good point. So Philip followed the only direction he got, south, until he saw a chariot. In it was a man who worked directly for an Ethiopian queen. The angel told Philip to go next to that chariot. Mm, weird. Again, Jay. Spaceship, planets, dog, talking. Good point. Oh. What? I th did it, let me finish my story, all right? Uh, I wish I could put my head out the window of a spaceship, but uh, that very moment, the man in the chariot was reading the words of uh, Isaiah the prophet. Philip asked him if he understood what he was reading. 
It must have been like reading dog to him. <laughs> Wait, dog is a written language too? Please, Emma, don't condescend, my friend. It's a written language far too complex for the human mind. Oh, Barry. The Ethiopian man admitted he needed someone to explain, so Philip did. He was reading the part of Isaiah that talks about Jesus laying down his life for us. Mm. The man asked in Acts 8:34, uh, "Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about? Himself or someone else?" Mm. The man was actually reading scripture that talked about the very person Philip was on a mission to tell everyone about, mm. Jesus. Wow. wow. So Philip had the opportunity to tell him all about Jesus why he died and how he rose from the dead so that we could all have life that goes on forever. Mm -hmm. uh. Countdown to liftoff in one minute. Countdown to liftoff in one minute. <gasps> Be better buckle up, mates. The Ethiopian man was so amazed by the story of Jesus that he wanted to get baptized then and there. That was a way to show he believed and wanted to live for and share Jesus too. There was some water nearby and the man was baptized and then Philip disappeared. What? Yep. He was taken somewhere else where people needed to hear about Jesus. Uh, While well, the Ethiopian man went away rejoicing. <clears throat> oh, sorry, <laughs> used to speaking dog. Uh, there were a lot of steps that Philip could have taken that day, but it's a good thing he didn't skip the one the angel directed him to. It reminds the rest of us how important it is that we don't skip this step. Tell others about Jesus. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Scott, what is that? Uh, it's the big idea alarm. Jay, I was just thinking, this whole traveling to other planets thing would be cool, but there are plenty of people here on Earth to share Jesus with, like my neighbor, my science teacher. The garbage collector, the mail carrier. You know, I was just thinking the same thing. Um, hey, dog captain? Dog? Captain? Hey, dog captain? Oh, what? Yes. Sorry, yes. Can you fly the mission alone? Oh, uh, absolutely, mates. Done it many times. <laughs> and blast off in 10, 9, 8, 7. Uh, let's do this. Join us for the secret press play handshake. Handshake countdown to two, two, one. Boom. <gasps> oh, that was close. Yeah. Woo. Well, what now? Well, let's recap. We pressed play and ended up on a spaceship piloted by a highly intelligent dog. While we were waiting to blast off, he shared with us the story of Philip from Acts 8. Philip was given his next step from an angel to share the story of Jesus with someone he'd never have thought to. Who can you share the story of Jesus with today? That might be your next step. I think it's ours, Jay. But now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Oh, what time is it, Emma? I think it's time to drop the verse. Already? Oh, I can't wait for this scripture. Here we go. Let Here me we hear go. it. Let Here me hear go. it. Let me hear The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Psalm 19 1. Psalm 19 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Psalm 19 1. Psalm 19 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Psalm 19.1. Oh! 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 Ps